which is a, a game which I stumbled across on Steam and after uh, Will's Let's Play, solo Let's Play of uh, Celeste, um, which if you haven't seen and you should definitely go and watch, uh, is I've decided I should probably do my own, you know, Let's Play, the Wigged Man seshes, as it were. Um, and basically, yeah, just stumbled across this. It's sort of a base building game where you build the kingdom and slash or castles. It's pretty much it. <laughs> and I just, I just like the look of the graphics and the and the way it's done. And I'm, you know, obviously back in the day we played the whole Age of Empires thing, Age of Mythology thing. It was kind of like similar to that, but a different aesthetic. Um, and so yeah, I thought, why not? Um, I'd like to apologise before we even begin about the any graphics issues or lag or anything. I've been ha having to do this on my laptop and, um, well, it's not built for this kind of thing. Um, so I've had to, on the settings, I've had to take out a lot of the nice graphics stuff like the fog and the clouds and the bird, there's like birds that fly around and stuff. Um, I've had to take quite a lot of that out uh, and the smooth lighting and all that, all that stuff because because the laptop's just a bit, it's just a bit, it's a bit stupid. But anyway, let's get on with our um, kingdoms and or castle. Um, we'll do easy. So I have, I have um, only played this as a test to record it. So I haven't actually, I don't actually know what I'm doing in the game. I just know that I'm playing it and that it's about kingdoms and perhaps castles as well. So we'll just go from there. So it's going to be a medium map, random type of map. This is the seed it's given me. Let's see what the next one is, if it's any better. Yeah, let's use that one. Why not? Um, let's do that, and then we're going to call it. Well, Arcadia is the name of our of our survival let's play thing, so I'm going to call it uh, Wiggyville because I'm Wiggy the Manor. Um, let's go for a blue banner because it's blue, isn't it? So, build a keep to begin your kingdom. Wiggyville. Right, where do I want this keep? So I can zoom out. This is our little kingdom world thing. Um, obviously, I imagine later on you, you sort of explore more and you demolish this and use it to build, you know, cool things or whatever. But for now, we're going to just have to start here. Let's go here. Let's build a keep. Um, there I guess. Congratulations! Wiggyville has grown to become a quiet hamlet. Astonishing. So this down here is basically where you keep an eye on what what's what. You've got five people. Two of them are idle. It's probably because can't be asked. Um, you can control your tax rate, see the happiness of your people, job priorities, and your resources, which is very key. And in your keep, you've got some advisors. They they say things like. Mm. Good day, sir. We'll need farms first to feed our workers. And then this guy's like, Good day, sir. Let's begin by growing our kingdom with some roads and then houses. Hmm. And then the military one's just like, Yeah, I don't know, mate. Um, so, let's begin. These people need homes, as you can see from the from them shouting out, I need a home. Above their little whatever. So what we're gonna do is build some hovels for them to for them to live in. Oh no, first we need to build roads so they can get to their hovel and then We'll go from there. So um, this road, I don't think you can rotate this. Maybe not. So we're just going to build it sort of alongside the um, the the main. What's it called? The keep. Um, just build a few roads there, um, and then build a hovel for them to to stay in as well. I want a hovel. There we go. So do it facing the road just there, and then they'll basically assign themselves a job. And you can change the job priorities, but at the moment I think they're all just builders or stockpile workers. But when you get um, you get a bit further on, I imagine they sort of get their specialities and whatnot. So let's get them once they've done that. Chopping, chop, chop, mm, chop, and basically that way we can get wood, and then we can start building some some other stuff as well. So what's this exclamation mark telling me? There's a high fire risk, which is, well, that's good to know, I suppose. Uh, my lord! Two people visited, but oh yeah, I guess um, people come through and they visit, and if there's space, then they stay, or they could stay, depending on like what the happiness is and stuff. Um, 
and uh, then they're one of your workers. So we have an idle worker and the rest are chopping wood so we should be able to afford another hovel. Let's do, let's, let's do two more hovels to attract workers and then I'll put them to work. And as you can see the time, oh, the time sort of scale is pretty quick. You can change it up here. Um, this is on normal speed and it basically goes through years pretty quickly. So as you can see we're in the winter now owing to the uh, the snow um, and basically it kind of goes through the different years like as you can see year two has started three people visited but none could find a home well now they should be able to find a home when when more people visit so we've got ten beds at the moment because there's two houses three where's my idle work oh there's no idle work they're all busy so when we've got that we'll start building some farms because we need some food to feed these workers which is why they're not very happy in the moment um, so oh and the roads that's the other thing the roads dictate ha how wide your building area goes basically um, in hindsight I should have left this sort of seaside area for any future uh, this one maritime stuff like I don't know a dock or something for fishing but you know I've built some hovels there so hovel street is in the way but whatever so we'll do some farms here get some farms going build another one oh maybe select it again still getting used to this farm and then I don't think we've got any more wood for anything else so we'll do that get them eating and then consult the advisors as to what to do next because we've got I mean we've got nothing really let's take a look at what we've got. So we've got farmers, stockpile workers, builders. Hmm. Why are they not chopping? Chop! Four people. Three have stayed. Right, so we now we've got eight workers. Which is good. Because we need them to do things. So let's get these lot chopping from trees and whatever. Take a look at this. Farmers, timber workers we need to prioritize timber workers no yes uh, get uh, farmers are important builders are not as important at the moment got nothing to build so I'm going to wood to build it with um, we're also going to want a quarry soon which I think is in this oh no it's in industry which is this one 15 wood and then we'll got start getting some stone and then we should be able to build some more uh, things for our town. Um, I'm thinking as well building some roads on this side so I can expand on this left hand side of my of, of Wiggyville at the moment because it's kind of all a bit restricted as it at the moment. So we'll do that first I think before we build a quarry and then go from there. So if we do like one, two, three let's just do that for now and then see this is they're exclaiming to me right but I don't know why tell me why are you exclaiming what does that what does that do I don't really want to touch that um, additional wells I should make some wells farms yeah I've got a couple of farms we could do some more farms um, Oh, stop it! Right, thank you for your helpful input. Um, let's do. Let's make a quarry because I imagine we'll need some stone for building stuff. Um, oh, they keep using it. Why are they using it for? What are they using the wood for? There we go. Right, let's get a quarry. Must be adjacent to usable stone. No, is that not usable? What the devil? This is not usable stone. Hmm. Right, I have to do some research on my quarry. Unusable stone. Unusable stone. Iron. Oh, so I guess it depends on the on the color of the of the rocks. I see. So what's that? Is that usable? Right, that makes sense. So like the pale coloured stone is available to quarry 
dark coloured stone is unavailable to quarry and this uh, this sort of coloured stone is iron. Well that, I mean the more you know right, the more you know. So let's in that case get some farms instead because we'll need that to sustain our workers. One of them, let's get, get two of them, nah, let's get three of them. Yeah. Uh, so let's get that and then we'll try and get a road out here. Mine some. Uh, how else? How else does one? I know it's roads that you use to um, expand building area, but I'm wondering if there's any other ways of doing that. Um, hmm. Right. So the well is drinkable water and can be used by firefighters. Allows peasants to travel much faster. I see. Uh, cottage, oh it's just bigger bigger houses basically and this is important that's like defense yeah if we get raided I'm, I mean I'm a little bit I'm a little bit you know <coughs> at the moment if I don't have got any wall or anything but um, hmm I'll tell you what I'll tell you what Let's get some roads and then we'll get this iron mined. Or can I just send someone to mine it? Do I have to use a quarry for it? Produces stone, build near light coloured stone. Okay, so I guess um, I can just sort of send a, a peasant to go and get the iron for me. I think that's how it works. So let's get a couple more roads. So if I just built a road here, could I then send a peasant here to the iron? This is my question. But no one's bothering to build this road. What the? D what are they doing? I only got one builder. That's because they got a lot of farmers. Right. Okay. Well, this guy is going to build this road for me. And then I should be able to build out here, and then I, I might be able to mine this. So, like this guy. Stop telling me that it's barren land. Like this has become apparent. Good lord. Never ends, does it? I want. I just want to mine some iron. Oh. Build near an iron ore deposit. Well, that is deeply unfortunate. But at least I can now build out here. I guess. Um, all right. So yeah, like my building area is bigger now. Um, I really need to build a forest because I don't, I don't I haven't got enough wood. So let's see. How much does a forest cost? Five stone, and the nearest stone is is miles away. Is what we're saying nearest usable stone. It's up here probably. Is that usable? Empty cave. Interesting. Right, so this is available to quarry. But I can't build out there. Unless there's a road. Is that I really don't think this whole road thing is I I don't think it's I think I might have the wrong end of the stick there. Um I'll tell you what, let's get some more sort of this for now. And this. Oh, it's all raking the food in now. We're getting rich, fellas, we're getting rich. Right, it's now winter and I still don't know what I'm doing. We've got a little farming thing going on, that's fine. I'm just sending individual people for to get you know, wood to build stuff, but so if I was to put this like here, but they they wouldn't be able to get through that, would they? To get there? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see who goes to build. I can leave them alone. That's a mistake. Um. All right, so this guy. Let's 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 monitor this guy's progress, right? Because 
can he? What's he gonna do? Ah, oh, he can shimmy. He can shimmy his way through, and he should pop out the other side. There we go. And now, what I'll do. There's another cave there. What I'll do is go to industry, quarry, bang one there. Alright, cool. I've got a quarry now, well I will do when they build it. And then I'll get some stone, get a forester going, get some wood. Um, I've got 15 beds and 15 people, so I should probably build another hovel for them to stay. Oh look at all, look at them go! Loads of them gone to build that. I mean, they haven't got anything better to do I suppose. Which is, you know, an issue, because I need, I need something for them to do, ideally. But uh, let's get some more wood so I can build a hovel, and go from there. Chop! Chop the tree! Please! Alright, drop priority. Farmers, builders, stockpile. Cool, that's fine. A stockpile, I assume, isn't necessary yet, because I haven't got anything to stockpile there. So, I guess that might be an issue. It, I'm assuming that the, like, the order that these are... Order? Order! The order that these are in is how important they are and the order that you should build them in so you get you know, get a stone and you get this and maybe that's a load of bullshit <laughs> but i think it might be right you never know right how's this quarry going then do have they finished building it how is it what is it cave says something about oh it's a wolf den can be killed by soldiers Right, what we're going to do next. So this should start producing... Oh, they have names! The workers have names! Good lord. Let's see. I don't know how you, s how you view all your workers, though. Show. Hide. Show. Hide. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Right, let's... Um, let's go back to Wikiville get them building another hovel because we need some more accommodation because oh for god's sake I thought I asked you to chop some wood chop chop how many wood choppers do I have timber workers have two of them oh so I can like close individual uh, okay. Oh, it's raining. There we go. We can now build a hovel. Bosh. This is Hovel Street. It's um, a sought after real estate area. Apparently. Uh, what, are the, what are the advisors saying? Hmm. What have you got to say? More farms. Hmm. And what are you saying? Mostly fine. Try examining a house. Ah. has no eh too far away. What is that? Charcoal. Okay. And they have no water. Well, now that I have a quarry, I can build a well, I assume. Um, let's see if I can do that. What do I need for that? I need ten stone. I've got five at the moment. When I have enough stone, I'll build a well. So that will sort that issue out. What was the other thing? Cut the charcoal. Um, where would I find charcoal? Is it in the rocks? Like in Minecraft? 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 So this is just unused. Fresh water? Hmm. Oh, this is all unusable stone. That's a wolf den. Well, I'm gonna build some farms as well. Because apparently we need to do that. Let's do these two. Um what's an orchard? It's just like a more solid farm, I guess. And that stores food. Um, okay. 
Forester, I think, is the next thing because I should keep running out of wood. Um, before a well. I mean, how much do they really need drinking water? I mean, when's the last time you drank water? Well, I mean, you know, I mean, whatever. But we need, we need choppy, can be called. We need people to chop. So are these like spare bits because I don't have a stockpile? Or like. Also, can I just like select workers? And tell them to do something else. Maybe not. Oh, what's that? So it's not actually. It doesn't actually say that that's necessarily. You know, wood that has that needs to be chopped or hasn't been. You know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll build a stockpile near the wood thing because otherwise they have to keep running back to the place. Unless you can stockpile wood in a forester, which would be helpful. Okay, let's do that then. Let's do let's make a forester. Right. This is bloody typical. I need to build a road. Let's do it like up here. Send someone to do that. How much is wealth? Five wood, ten. Yes, I can afford that. Oh it supplies water to that area, so we'll do it near the houses where the current houses are. We'll build that as well. Um, and then we'll... So that road is done, so we'll get, get a forester. On a roll here. We're on a roll. We are on a roll. Right, forester. I'm guessing it will do, like, the wood in that area. Should have done it there, really. Oh, well. Um, get that going. Get a stockpile over there as well. Where is that industry? Small stockpile. I've run out of wood. Right, they got a well, so they got nothing to complain about now. No charcoal. Okay, whatever. Um, food, cool. Just wait till this is done. What the devil? Let's get them chopping. We need lots of people chopping wood. Woogieville is a vibrant and bustling city now. Some workers are still the priority. I don't know why there's only two of them. I'm not really sure how we'd reassign them. None could find a home. We're full. Alright, well we'll get some more hobbles going in a minute. This looks like it's almost done. Oh, I see, they go to the... I get it. I get it. They run over here, well, walk, pick that up, bring it back, use it to build. I get it. I get it. A charcoal maker. Here we go. I need that. I think that's more important probably than a stockpile. Um, I'm not sure where it sort of needs to... I guess I'll put it behind the houses. Because they need it there. Right. Is this... Oh, no, it's still not working. Almost there. And we'll also need a small stockpile. Put, put it next to the thing. Alright, we're making some progress now. I hope. How much was a big stockpile? Oh, you need gold for that. Don't know where you get that. Oh, it's tax. You get it from tax. Well, I don't want to tax them because I'm not. I mean, I've only just given them drinking water. I don't feel I can really tax them at this early stage. Let's get get a few more, a few more things, and then we'll think about tax. How about that? Check on Macquarie as well. See if they're not being lazy. Oops! Oh, blimey! Blimey! Calm down. No one is working here. Outrageous behaviour. Are they bunking off? Oh, it's because it's lowest priority. Ah, yeah, mate, that makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. Put it there. No one's building. No, I don't want that. Put this there. Right. I think they do automatically reassign themselves. 
occasionally, but doesn't seem to be very good at doing that. Alright, now we're collecting the wood in from here. Although the stockpile's still not built. No, I need to go and collect stone, that's why. Oh well. Um right, we're almost there. A small stockpile has been built. And I can still have a lot actually. Alright, um so this I hope is in full swing, yeah, four out of four people doing that, that's good. And let's see what the advisors are saying. Not for this stuff. Granaries, mm. we need granaries. Large houses and nice things. Mm. And military's got nothing to say. Alright, well, I think we'll leave it there for the first episode. We have made decent progress on Wikiville. We've established it here. We've got Hovel Street, where the peasants live in the hovels. They've got drinking water and charcoal, so they've basically got nothing to complain about. Got some farms growing. Just pop another couple of farms. Oh, an orchard. A granary. Let's do that. That'll be the last, that'll be the last thing I do in the episode. Right, and then uh, we've got some farms. We've got a forester to collect wood. We've got a quarry to collect stone. It's all going well, and um, I've got big plans for Wigaville, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be huge, it's going to be huge, and um, I hope you uh, join me next time, I hope you sort of enjoying this game, this let's play, and um, yeah, I think, I think, I think Wigaville will be, will be quite the place in the future, quite the place, but yeah, thanks again for watching, and bye bye now.